Housekeepers of Reddit, what do you know about the owners of the houses that they don't know you know? Dog Walker, here. I was dog sitting for an older work friend once and saw her day's sober calendar. I was simultaneously sad because I had no idea she was struggling and happy for her because she had almost a full month marked off. Not a housekeeper but a nanny. A family once took me on vacation with them so I could watch their kids while they back quote D go out and explore the area. That week, my bed was a couch in the living room. It's late at night, the kids are sleeping, I'm laying on the couch and the parents get back. The dad says, is she sleeping referring to me? I didn't say anything so apparently he assumed yes. He then started farting very loudly. Our maid service found our positive pregnancy test in the bathroom trash after presumably finding negative pregnancy tests in the bathroom trash for the previous 12 months. Left us a nice little congratulations note on my wife's nightstand. I'm a nanny. The last family worked for I overheard the dad calling his insurance asking if a certain rehab was covered. He talks loud naturally. I heard what he was going for and everything. Nobody knew not family not friends. Just me and them. They never knew I knew. My friend who cleans houses said she once had a girl who left dirty pads all over her room. She refused to clean it. Working in hotels is similar to cleaning someone's house because those comfortable will lay it out for you. You can tell if someone is messy or tidy at home. How well they take care of their things, what they eat, how much they drink, what medical problems they may have, and if you get the chance to meet them, you can piece together why they live the way they do by telling their stories. I never made fun of our guests or judge them. That would be so unfair and intrusive. House I used to work at had a secret passage from the master bed to the attic, also a secret passage from a cabinet in the great room leading to the exterior of the garage. I'm not a housekeeper, but my late aunt used to be. One of her clients, who was fairly well to do, had a whole closet full of genital themed toys. And when I say toys, I'm not using a euphemism for sex enhancement items or anything like that. Literal genital toys. Wind up penises with googly eyes on them. Pez dispensers shaped like the most browsed pages of a skin mag. I suspect these weren't official Pez brand. Rather risque variants on pin the tail on the donkey. A nerf like gun that fired foam phalluses. My cleaning guy caught me leaving the house once. Said he knew I smoked pot because he'd find stuff for it a lot. And asked if he could find me some for a camping trip with his wife. I freaked a little after he just said I know you do marijuana. I was like, am I catching a lecture? Man of the house asked me and the other cleaning crew ladies if we have ever seen this type point of dog leash. Holds up what is clearly a under bed restraint system looking confused. I didn't say shit. We all looked at each other like fuck no I'm not telling him he says HMM. Maybe she wants a dog. Why was it under the mattress? He just wandered off dragging this thing behind him. He was a nice guy worked a lot, tipped well, gave us holiday bonuses. She was a trophy wife and was not nice to him. They divorced while I still worked there. He got a dog named Mayonnaise and was much happier. It was a rescue greyhound. Sweet dog. I don't live in that town anymore, but I hope Mr. Jim is happy still. Haven't been a housekeeper in years, but we can always tell when your marriage is falling apart. The amount of giving up is clear. Not the housekeeper, but I thought I had this brilliant hiding spot. And when I lost my wallet, my maid told me you should hide it with those papers inside your nightstand next time. I felt such fear. She knows the house better than any of us. A client of mine doesn't know I know she ducks her husband in the ass with a strap on. When I get a housekeeper I'm just going to come clean and show them where all of the potentially embarrassing stuff is. I really DGAF and it would probably break the ice. 
One of my most vanilla customers doesn't know I know about her bondage fetish. She seems like she would be a kindergarten teacher. It caught me off guard when I seen her rope slash cuffs. Buddy of mine used to clean houses with his mom. He told me about this one massive mansion they would clean and how there were no mirrors in the entire house. There also weren't a lot of windows and if there were, they had thick drapes. He met the family only once and told me they were very pale and quiet people. He worked for fucking vampires. Well, not a house cleaner, however do clean a specific news station and I won't tell you which anchor drinks on the job, but they leave all the evidence, empty little shot bottles, in the bathroom trash can. Lol, like we don't know, bro. Not a housekeeper, but a friend did some contractor work. A client wanted to remove some of the drop ceiling and replace it with drywall. Well, a few ceiling tiles removed and falls out a ton of crushed beer cans and used condoms. The family had a very active teenager. I was cleaning the house of a woman with a young teenager. His room used to be in the basement, but she said he kept sneaking out at night, so she moved him upstairs. I was cleaning his room and found condoms under his lampshade when I was dusting and some pictures of a girl's fell out of his Harry Potter book. I know she would have been really upset if she knew. I never said anything. They did well to hide it, but I know both of them are having affairs. She gets really giddy the week she meets her lover. She is usually quite dowdy in the way she dresses, but puts on much younger looking items to meet her man. The week she doesn't meet him is the week she is more glum, but gets bombarded with messages, so she is stuck in her phone. He, on the other hand, he is a lot harder to catch. I find seemingly innocuous handwritten telephone numbers and names, always female, on scraps of paper. He has a professional that works all over the world and travels a lot, and has a massive network, so it is part of the job. However, in his bin, wrapped in tissue paper I'll find a torn off section of paper with a room number and presumably time written on it. Sad thing I found. Daughter had been hiding stuff in her room. She had a tall dresser and had a pile of panties covered in menses almost as tall as the 4 foot dresser. She also had bags of bread, bagels, pretzels. The bread thing I found out was because mom was a type 1 diabetic and didn't allow any bread products in the house and was extremely strict on the family diet. Daughter spent her allowance on bread at the corner store. I'm not sure what was going on with the panties. I was unsure of what it meant as far as abuse or anything. There were feminine hygiene products everywhere, so I'm sure they knew she was menstruating. I wanted to report it to child services, but my boss wouldn't let me because she was friends of the family. The little old man in house sitting for due to a stroke had has a hobby of taking nude photos of women. There's a stack of them under his bed that I found while trying to coax his cat out. His ex-wife, who was the one who hired me, had no idea why there was a futon in his living room with multiple light fixtures pointing to it. The entire setup reminds me of the casting couch in Bourne, if that couch was a futon. Our cleaning person actually found a hidden drawer in my nightstand even I didn't know about. We thought things were disappearing for months before finding the drawer ourselves and realizing he was putting things in there while cleaning. Had a good laugh about that one. After I moved out my mom got a housekeeper who cleaned once a month. She was a cool lady, I met her a few times. When I, F, was in college visiting home once I brought my toy and hid it under my pillow. When I got home the evening after the housekeeper cleaned I couldn't find my toy. Eventually I found it as a centerpiece in a beautifully folded towel and soap arrangement in the guest bathroom, my bathroom. Looking back on it, that's pretty bousy. But she was just a saucy older lady I guess.